How close does the side dress nitrogen really need to be to your corn plants? I'll discuss that in today's Iron Talk. There are a number of ways to apply nitrogen in crop in corn. Every farm has different assets to work with. For example, you may have a pivot or a lateral that you can fertigate through. You may have a high clearance spreader to apply dry urea or even ammonium sulfate. Some farms utilize a coulter to inject nitrogen, while others use a high clearance sprayer and a Y drop system. There are many different ways you can go. If your method of choice involves placing the nitrogen deeper in the soil, potential root pruning is a concern. For this reason, the coulter applications we've made with our Hagee machine have been done near the center of the row. With moisture, the nitrogen will move, and by this time, our roots are reaching close to the center of the row to get it anyway. Root pruning is minimized, and nitrogen recovery is normally pretty good. My brother likes this method because his concern is always that we may not get a rainfall soon enough to get surface applications of nitrogen into the plant. We've also observed good results with the Y-drop applications, in part because the nitrogen is placed right above the majority of the plant roots. Now, there's certainly some moisture present around the base of the plants if you get a morning dew on the corn. And while Brian is still concerned about needing some moisture to get the nitrogen in the ground, the results from across the country have been overwhelmingly positive. Placing nitrogen close to the row, or even in the center of a 30-inch row, can work just fine. Either way, getting timely and sufficient moisture is the real key to maximizing the benefit of your side dress application. If you're in a more arid climate, we suggest either method be done a little earlier than if you're in a higher rainfall area. We'd also suggest a nitrogen stabilizer or a stabilized nitrogen formulation like High Energy N be used. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.